Happy Sunday, folks. My name is Don Shanahan, and I write for every movie has a lesson.com. Um, this is my movie classroom series where I talk about the movie reviews that I write online. Um, I write things with a teacher's eye in mind where, because in my eyes every movie can teach a lesson from the series to the farcical. Um, I've been recently attending the Chicago International Film Festival. It's 50th year and I've been able to absorb and pick up some movies that are starting to hit theaters and one of those is today's movie classroom. Um, it gives me great pleasure to talk about Bill Murray's new film, St. Vincent. Um, it occupied the Chicago International Film Festival as one of its two festival centerpieces. The other festival centerpiece film was the last five years, a musical with Anna Kendrick, but doesn't come out until February, which means I can't review it or talk about it until February, so you get Bill Murray instead. Um, I know you guys have seen the commercials of this. Bill Murray plays your typical uh, cantankerous old man stereotype, but in this one, he's... Um, Cliche or not, he's got a lot of different shades and pieces to his character that make him an interesting guy. Um, the story involves him kind of befriending a, a young, impressionable kid that's his new next-door neighbor. Um, the mom of this kid is uh, Melissa McCarthy, who's definitely kind of uh, putting the physical comedy away and playing this one straight as a mom. Uh, the newcomer's name is uh, Oliver. Uh, the actor is Jaden Lieberhar. And uh, Bill Murray just hits it off with this kid. Um, He's kind of that jerk of a neighbor, the drinker, the smoker, the gambler, the prostitute user, all those different things. But um, underneath kind of that gruff exterior, we find that he's got um, he's got his armor up, but he also has a little bit of a heart inside. Uh, in seeing that this little kid here is kind of a, uh, a target for bullies and, and a new kid in a new area and is not doing too well, he kind of takes him under his wing and shows him the ropes. Um, this is a good, fun film um, where... Uh, it's something that is enjoyable enough that you can kind of um, sit back and enjoy. I think if you took Bill Murray away, the whole movie would be really corny. Um, I see it in my review where if a guy like um, Robin Williams made this movie, we would probably call it a little too conveniently sentimental. But I think the sentimentality works. Uh, the reason why it does is Bill Murray. Um, CNN colonist recently, Todd Leopold, called him the greatest movie star in the world. Um, in my eyes, he's kind of the coolest man on the planet. I mean, look at all the different uh, viral things this guy does, showing up at parties, taking people out on, you know, engagement photos and paying cab ride. I mean, just the guy is a gem and a peach of a person. So um, he really seals seals this movie for being good. I mean, you can kind of take away Melissa McCarthy's mom character. Naomi Watts plays this ridiculously terrible Russian stripper with a heart of gold cliche. Um, Terrence Howard is in a completely forgettable part as a bookie. Um, when you boil this movie down from first time uh, writer-director Ted Melfi, it's about Bill Murray being impressionable to this kid, and it just works. Um, it's entertaining. It's funny. It has enough drama to at least be dramatic on a certain level. And... Um, but, it, I mean, at the end, it, it, it enables its sentimentality to be easily digested and worth it. Um, I give St. Vincent a 4 out of 5. If it wasn't for Bill Murray, this thing's getting a 2. Um, it really, I, I admit, it is kind of corny, but because it's him, it just works. Let's hop over to the lesson. All right, lesson number one, and we have a little fun with this because Bill Murray just lays in the one-liners all movie long. Um, one of his is the fun quote of, Dead is the oldest you can be. <laughs> um, with his cantankerous character and Bill Murray's sense of humor, you have something that is just completely deadpan all the time coming out, whether he's kind of uh, breaking people down, um, barraging people who are just kind of in his way. I mean, he, like I said, he's kind of being that loner guy. Um, he, I could list pages of little one-liners that he gives in terms of impressionable things to uh, the young Oliver character or just things he lays in other people. This is kind of a funny one here. His wisdom knows no bounds, and it's just, I don't know, he's got zingers on movie, and this was one of my favorites. So let's go to lesson two where we equally stay stupid. Lesson number two is delivered to us by uh, actor Chris O'Dowd, who was Melissa McCarthy's uh, uh, co-star in Bridesmaids. Uh, he plays a, a fun little uh, well-knowing kind of uh, unintentionally easygoing priest at the Catholic school. And his logic is, and I tell you what, I realize it's completely true as a kid who grew up Catholic. The Catholic religion is the best religion because... It has the most rules. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So, again, <laughs> simple logic there. Um, a good joke. Uh, nice work, Catholics. You win the award for best religion. Wisdom, you know, take with you. Something simple for the movie for you. All right, that's two dumb lessons down. We'll get to two that actually work in a second here. All right, for lesson number three, we'll actually get to something with some substance. And lesson three kind of talks to the the best way Bill Murray trying to, tries to coach our young kid up is you can't get ahead in this world without being heard. Uh, one thing that Bill Murray tries to kind of coach up this little kid about, and I keep using the coach up word, but that's all right, um, it's that um, you've got to let your voice be known. You've got to let your opinions be known. You've got to let your point of view be known. Um, it's a good father figure lesson here, and um, you have to have your own voice. You have to have your own interests. You have to stick to them. You have to have those principles. Um, even if they're the cantankerous old man ones down the road where – as much as you watch Bill Murray kind of bust people for doing different things, he's kind of right. You know, um, he, he is the blunt kind of deliverer of the obviousness that more often than not is kind of true. The man has his flaws himself, but he's smart enough to know where the, how the world works, and I think he wants this kid to feel that way too. Um, and to Bill, to Bill's character, it's about voice. So um, that's kind of where this lesson goes. It definitely has the teeth to be something worthwhile here. Our fourth one is kind of moves to the sentimentality part, but is definitely a shining piece to the movie. Like I said, the last lesson is where a lot of this is going in the corniness department, and that is, pure and simple, the definition, and I, you know what, I can put that on a better line. Here we go. The definition of a saint. The movie is called St. Vincent for a reason. Uh, in, like I said, in, in pure corny fashion, Oliver has a school project to find a report on a saint living among us. Um, thanks to the impressionable nature of Bill Murray's character, Vincent, uh, he's, of course, going to become that guy. And you, it does beg the question of what does, what does a person, maybe ordinary, have to do to be considered saintly or saint-like? Um, it is a good takeaway from this movie. Um, there are indeed seen and unseen people in this world that go above and beyond their means to help and sacrifice for others, even if it's a jerk old man who just watches a kid for a few hours just to make him feel better, even to make himself feel better. Um, it's, it's a nice moment, and uh, it, like I said, it kind of crescendos in a way that we would maybe laugh at if it was a different movie and a different actor, but Bill Murray really sells it. Um, it's a nice little, like I said, it's a nice takeaway piece from this movie. And, um, again, it's, it's just such an entertaining, good, funny movie. Um, it's, um, it's kind of right there with Chef, where I think I kind of agree with a colleague of mine named Tim Day, um, who reviews movies at daythemovies.com. He calls it one of the more, um, most easily recommendable movies he can tell somebody. And, um, for me, over the course of this year, that movie's been Chef, that very good cooking movie with John Favreau. I have to kind of agree with Tim. This is kind of the second one that could easily be, you know, um, kind of a, a sure thing for anybody who wants to go see a movie and be entertained. So that's St. Vincent for you. Uh, with that, uh, let's, let me pop the side again. Uh, I write for www. Every movie has a lesson. Dot com. Um, I can definitely give the recommend to St. Vincent. Bill Murray is worth your time. Um, he's a gem. He's awesome. Um, it's definitely a place to go. Um, it did play as a centerpiece of the uh, Chicago International Film Festival. I've got two more show me's to try to kind of get out to you today. One of them came from the film festival, and one of them is, I'm going to kind of drop the tease here, is the best movie I've seen this year. It's my new number one leader in the clubhouse as we get to November. I'll tell you all about him in the next lessons of Movie Classroom. Take care, people.